drunk elephant dew. So I've started watching Manifest. We all stood there and the plane just blows up. Look at this big fat box. You are. What is this? Five. With more clarity. What do we have? Let's oil the hair. Haul. It is slinky, but it's more like thick. And then maybe some like smart trousers. But I don't think I realise how traumatised Greek is so shit. -like. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a another weekly vlog. How are we all? Happy Sunday. It is Monday morning for me right now. And guess where I am? I'm at the gym. I just thought it was about time we got back on our gym game. Since holiday, I haven't really felt like it. I've just like really struggled with getting back into routine but I just thought it's a fresh week I've got no excuse let's just get up and get there so I got up at half five I've just got to the gym spent some vaseline on my lips my skin is not loving me right now it's period week I also fake tanned last night for the first time in I want to say a month or so because I didn't really tan before holiday because I wanted to like give my skin a break and then I've got like a really nice natural tan however we have got a PLT event tomorrow so I wanted to be like confident and tanned and I just personally feel more confident when I'm tanned so I did a layer of filter last night so we've got to wash it off when we get back but it looks pretty good i didn't want anything crazy i feel like it's nice to just have a you know a natural tan going on but happy monday let's spend the week together i'm just gonna go and smash a gym session out i'm not gonna put too much pressure on it i'm just gonna do some cardio probably do like a full body and then get back have a shower and we can chat but i just want to say good morning this is my um gym fit today this is actually asda it's so cute i love it so much if you can't tell i just feel really tired so i hope you guys are excited to spend the week with me it's going to be a very fun week so yeah that's what motivated me to get up this morning i thought just get up don't sit in bed thinking wishing dreaming about getting up just do it get up no no <laughs> i wish someone would have said that to me this morning because ollie got up and went to work and i was like God, I was thinking I could just so easily fall back to sleep right now. But no, we're here. We did it. It's not that hard. Don't make out things that are actually really easy are hard. Getting up is easy. Working out is easy. Eating healthy is easy. Getting into routine is easy. Being our dream girl is easy. We've just got to be dedicated. So let me go in, work out, and then I'll be back and... We can have a big fat chat once I'm home. Oh, we are tired. I am not used to the early mornings. Anyway, I'm home. I've worked out. That's the most important thing. The washing machine's on, so that's not really the vibe. Today's plans are, I'm in London all day tomorrow, so I've got a video to edit. I've got a little bit of filming to do, nothing too crazy. I've got to shoot a picture for White Fox today, so I need to get ready for that. I need to wash my tan off, and I've just got, like, errands to do. I need to fill out some paperwork, um, all of that, just get on top of my to-do list so that I can go to London tomorrow and not really have to think about anything. So I'm gonna sit and write myself a to-do list and then we can slowly start like making our way through it. I'm gonna see Mia this afternoon. So yeah, that is the plan. Let's go write a little to-do list. I have just been, I did my car tax. I have started doing some forms that I need to fill in, just boring paperwork, but you know when you keep putting it off and putting it off? 
I was being like that and I thought, no, you just need to do it. It's Monday morning. Let's just get it done. I'm going to have a coffee. I don't fancy a hot coffee because Ollie made me a hot tea this morning. So I'm just going to have a Arctic caramel latte. Guys, I've already shaded it from the rooftops, but you need to try it. Also on the agenda is I've got a Primark video to edit. So I've just started doing that as well. I should be able to go on to retainer two today. Um, if not today, I don't know if to do it tomorrow purely just because I'm going to London tomorrow and I don't want to be in pain, but it has taken me like two weeks. It has taken me two weeks to get like to a place where I felt like I could move. Okay guys, right, I've done pretty much all the work that I can do with this current situation. So I'm just going to take my retainers out. To wash them what i've been doing is we got these um re retainer tablets i think just from like being or somewhere um, and i just put it in the glass with them and then it cleans them and then when i take them out i just give them like a good brush before i obviously put them back in my mouth okay so i thought i'd show you my tan before i wash it off so I used filter medium. I had to be really careful last night because of my piercings. I didn't want to get them infected. I think I managed it okay. So I used filter medium and then I mixed it with naked glow. I'll show you. So these are the two bottles. I know it's filter dark actually. I thought it was medium. Um, it it was leaking green. I haven't used it for a couple of months, but when I like spurted out, it wasn't green at all. I think this is just like tan that has dried, and it's still got the cellophane on. And then the Nike Glow one is by I don't really know what the brand is, um, but it's Nike Glow Self Tan by Love Kimberly. They sent it me ages ago, but honestly, it's really good, and I use it sparingly because it's one of my favourites. So. Yeah, really love that one. But I thought I'd give the filter a whirl because I feel like you can always trust filter. So, yeah. Anyway, this is how it looks before I've washed off. These are the hands. This is the belly. Only did my back, so hopefully it's okay. So I'm going to jump in the shower and then I'll show you how this all changes and I also put a little bit on my face just to give it a bit of colour so I didn't look crazy this morning so let me hop in and then I will show you once I'm out and this is how we look it's a really nice natural looking tan really happy with it I feel like we're pretty even I like that it's not too dark but I just feel like I've got a little bit of colour and then I'm depending on what outfit I use I did get a PLT parcel coming yesterday but I haven't opened it or anything yet I think I'll try them all on with you guys later on and then we can see what we like what vibe we want and then obviously depending on whether the chest is out or you know we might add some like extra glow on the chest just to juice things up a little bit but yeah this is the tan my legs look a nice colour I don't like to moisturise or anything, probably until tonight. I just like to let my tan sort of sit because I find that it still kind of develops after you've started, after you've washed it off. So I am due on my period, so that explains the spots. I'm hoping they're just it's typically not typically they're mostly around like my chin area, and that's typically hormonal. So hopefully they clear. Just gonna give them some grace and kindness, hey. That is the Bondi Sands Sweet Dreams Hydrating Night Moisturizer. So I'm gonna go and get ready. I'm gonna finish watching McKenna's vlog and then I'll pick you guys up and we can go for the PLT parcel, decide what we're gonna to wear to the event tomorrow. We are gonna go and get a picture with Mia and probably get a coffee or some lunch or something. I don't really know the plan, but yeah, that's what we are doing this afternoon. And then make dinner, walk the dogs about half six, seven, I think we said. We've been loving an evening walk. And guys, can I just say, I was walking the um, dogs over the trash yesterday. It was late. Well, no, it wasn't late. It was like 
half six, seven Sunday evening, me and Ollie were walking them and when we got back to the car, like there's this specific car park and there's um, a few benches and you can like look over the valley and like the sun sets over it, the other side and it's just gorgeous. And there was like an elderly couple like, I want to say like 65 or, you know, that sort of age, maybe 70, like our grandparents sort of age, sat on the bench watching the sunset together eating fish and chips and my heart just melted and like me and Ollie both looked at each other and went that'll be us <laughs> and it was like looking into my like future it was it was just the cutest thing like I literally had to take a moment like they didn't even notice us they were so wrapped up in being together and like I just literally was looking like that I just I don't know it really made me smile and um, you don't need to see something and like it restores your I don't know, like it's just such a nice like human moment and I feel like you don't see that very often and I was just like that is so adorable, I just loved it. So yeah, I'll pick you guys up in a little bit, I'll see you when I'm a bit more tan, but uh, a bit more ready but I just wanted to show you my tan. Okay guys, I'm ready, I thought I'd give you the PLT haul. If there is nothing in this parcel then I am absolutely screwed, so PLT you better have come through. We, don't you think this bag looks a different colour? I feel like they're more like baby pink, it's like a rose. I ordered quite a lot because I just didn't know what vibe I wanted to go for. Um, I didn't want to like not order enough and then have to reorder, you know? So I just thought, right, I'm gonna place a big fat order and then hopefully something fits. So I got, a, I got this, which I thought would look nice with just jeans. It's like a um, blue and like orange. Also, I got this in a size 8, it looks pretty big but this is really nice. I don't really like how it's attached with the little rings but I thought this with like baggy blue, a perspex heel and maybe like a white or orange bag. I thought if all else fails, I quite like the material of this, it's actually like a stretchy. I thought if all else fails this would pull through. Cute, feels nice actually. I like the added um, like corset detail and it's all the way around and it zips. So we love that, that should be fine. Um, this was another panic item that I thought if all else fails, this is a bit of me. This is a, I didn't realise it was going to be this material. This is actually so cute, this is cuter than I thought. It's going to need an iron. It's like a suede actually. I thought it was gonna be more of a satin. So it is a orange cropped like shirt blazer. And I am a cropped blazer stan. So I just thought, I know I feel comfortable in this. These like wrap all the way around. So this is a size eight. So I thought this would be cute. Again, with probably just baggy jeans and a heel. This is another crop blazer, which I think Mia saw Amber Knight um, all day in a PLT haul or something, and she said you would love. So I got this in a 10. And I had a feeling this would happen. It's a bit too long to be a cropped. I don't know. I got it in a 10 thinking mm, it might be okay. I don't quite know what I would wear this with, but I do just love a cropped blazer anyway, and I don't have a grey cropped blazer, so... I could maybe do it just with like maybe black trousers or something. We could do like no top and like maybe like push up bra, <laughs> you know, and then maybe some like smart trousers. But this is a really nice like grey mile blazer. I love wearing blaze like a cop blazer with joggers. I think it's such a cool vibe. So yeah, got this in a 10. This is nice, this feels nice. And I like that it has shoulder pads too. I feel like there's going to be something in here. Then, if you watched the vlog last week, I showed you these on the site. These are like a pair of washed green ruche jeans. And I've never seen these, like, I've never seen the ruche in on PLT before. I really like them. I don't know whether they're like, I was just struggling with how to dress these up. Like, I think it needs to be a cool top PLT. Just wasn't really giving any cool tops. And the model was literally just wearing these with like a black racer back, black heels and a black bag, like it was pretty simple. But if you see, they've got like 
ruching all down which i thought were really cool i got these in an eight and these are plt petite but i just really liked the color and i just thought like these with a beige top and trainers would be sick i just love green and i thought these jeans were so cool but i don't know if i don't know i was thinking maybe of like a cool baby tee and maybe like do it up like that but i don't know then this i just ordered because i was really intrigued by the buy it like buy the product so before we even think about the material let me tell you so this is their contour sculpt short sleeve t-shirt no i thought that this was going to be similar to sports looks that's why i ordered it because i really wanted like a skims-esque pink um situation i thought it'd just be cool with like gray joggers with jeans and i just really like baby pink guys this is actually thicker this is like the adenola like marshmallow quality can you like see it's not like it is slinky but it's more like thick and like soft this is stunning they had this in a lot of colors as well they had blue gray like cool colors more like um colorful ones like that so we love that and i think it was about 16 pounds but then we got this code which i have no idea what it's actually going to be like i didn't expect it to be denim let me just do it up so it's like a corset a strapless corset and then like a mini skirt so this is the top i got this in an eight but this looks huge to be on it oh, i don't that's not going to fit me is it i don't think i don't know that looks quite big so this is the top and then see it's like got this like acid wash through it and then it comes with a mini skirt but i was thinking maybe with like an oversized blazer it could look cool so then this is the skirt this is an eight as well this looks quite big as well maybe they just look big but they're not so then this is the skirt i don't really know whether it's the vibe but it looks cool so we can try it then i ordered this dress i don't know whether this is going to be see-through i couldn't tell on the model if it's not it's going to be stunning and i was thinking gray oversized blazer and then i could do boots heels or like trainers and sort of casual it down mm, it might be see-through but i might be able to pull it off with like beige underwear so it's this like thick knit sort of like a fuzzy print um like asymmetric dress i just thought this was really cool and i like the, this material it's not like too summery and it's not like boring like i thought it was quite a nice simple but still got something going on and it's got these cuts here which i thought was really nice so i kind of like this with like i was thinking a gray blazer but it's just how i would do the shoes like we almost need like a smart pair of you know like the dior converse guys our last um sisters and souls season one episode went up today it's really quite sad but we we were on like episode 25 i think and we only ever aimed to do 10 so we really surpassed our goal for season one and i feel like we just want like we don't want to keep going and not changing things so we were like right if we have like a month off we can like look over everything we've done decide where we want to improve if we want to change anything get rid of anything and then like come back like with a new vibe sort of thing so we are coming back don't worry so this is the last bit i got these kind of look see-through <laughs> these are a zebra print trouser very similar to the ones i had on holiday so it's like a chiffon they're sort of flared slightly not really but they're just like a high-waisted pair of trousers but then it comes with this matching shirt. This was like, I feel like this is one of those outfits that will either look absolutely beautiful or I'm going to look like a sack of potatoes. I don't know. Then this is the shirt. Um, I got this in a size 8. Um, it does button up a bit more. And I thought like a lot of gold jewellery. Um... So this is the shot. I just don't know. I didn't expect it to be so see-through. So then you like wear it obviously as a co-ward. I don't really know. Um, yeah, so that's everything I ordered. I will leave the links below. But I just really struggled because I was saying last week, like I don't really go 
out out very often and even if I do like it's always very much a like blazer and jean situation like it's not very often I have to dress up so I felt really lost to be honest and I don't feel the best with like fashion at the minute anyway like I feel very I feel like it's an awkward time of year so I really did not know where to go I'd love the zebra cord to work out I'd love the knitted dress to work out if all else fails it'll be a jean and cropped blazer combo which I can rock like it's fine and I'd honestly rather be comfortable than be like uncomfortable trying to look cool so yeah I will try them all on and show you guys what I pick but it is 20 past 12 I am making my way down my to-do list I'm getting really hungry but I'm trying to fast until one o'clock because I when I was fasting for a holiday I got in a really good rhythm with it and I felt like it was really working for me it was really helping me in terms of like blow and um like keeping me in a good I don't know I just felt good for it um, and I haven't really been doing it since I got back I've got this weird rash coming I can feel it on my chest um I haven't, yeah I haven't done it really since intentionally anyway since I got back and I just knew know how good I felt so I am gonna try and wait until one I'm not super hungry but you know you're just getting hungry my lips look really big but I've overlined them and I never not overlined them I've lined them and I don't tend to line them ever but this is the Primark Spice Lip Liner. It's quite dark, so I just like blended it using Revolution Cashmere. And then this is You Glow. <laughs> you are magic. I don't know what just fell over. Where's the logo? Here. You Glow. Um. So yeah, it's a nice lip combo actually. It's just, I don't have a lip lip pencil sharpener, so I was literally scraping the barrel. It would be a nice eyeliner to be honest. And I'd love to do eyeliner, but I'm just too scared. So I will pick you guys up in a little bit. I'm just gonna sort through this and then we will get on with the rest of our day. Guys, I haven't really got the space to show you anywhere other than in here so this is how the cohort looks i actually really like it i think the boobs need some work like i don't quite know how i would get them to sit right whether i need like boob tape or something you know just to like give myself a bit of cleavage but i think like big gold jewelry it's definitely a statement but then i feel like with this outfit my hair could definitely go up and then that's like one less stress it's kind of giving like 80s ABBA, but then kind of just, I do like, I think with heels, I don't know if it'd be too long, that's the only thing. What do we think? I do like it though. I haven't put it on and thought I hate it. Like I could definitely wear this. You're going to die, but this is the dress. I actually really like the dress and I thought with this grey um, Zara blazer, it would look really cute, but I just don't know about shoes. Like maybe a white, um, like strappy, maybe like lace up heel and then like a white mini bag but i'd probably just like drive it on the shoulders but this is the actual dress it's so cute i love this like fuzzy knit i think it would just like it just looks kind of effortless um i kind of like this okay I'm, i I was getting a bit stressed but i actually feel like this is going to be fine okay what do we think about the green jeans with this this is white fox i think this is really cool actually and I think it's like effortless. It's not like I've tried too hard. You know, I haven't been thinking about this the weekend. <laughs> Lots of gold jewellery, maybe layer up on the necklaces. I could even do like a blazer draped on the shoulders, a perspex in, and then maybe my Louis bag. Could be an option. Good afternoon. Let's get some light in this situation. I am just popping out to get a quick pick. It is three o'clock. I let Darcy out and like played with her for about an hour and um, I just got my turkey development photos back I don't know if the physical ones are ready but I just got the email and to be fair they're pretty cute I think 23 of them got done out of 27 so that's not so bad because the last ones I've had like I've only ended up getting like 11 photos or something like really quite bad like low so so yeah i'm just gonna go and grab mia and we are gonna go and get a pick um i think just at the outlet and then when i get back i'm gonna cook some dinner but this is really cute because i just changed my wallpaper 
I just changed my wallpaper to one of me and Ollie, but I feel like these are the kind of pictures that like our kids will look at. Like I have some of like my mum and dad, even though like they weren't, they weren't together um, in the end. Like I have some of them when they were in their twenties, like on their holidays. And it's just so nice. Like, and it sort of reminds you that they were people before they had you. Like they were just like them and Stu, you know? They weren't just mom and dad. I just love them. I feel like they're so cute, so wholesome. So I've just put my jewelry on. The ring I got in Turkey, silver. Thank God I did not pay. Like I think that he was selling the brace of like 110 or 130, um, and I was considering it because it was gorgeous and it matched the ring and it just fit my like wrist perfectly. Thank God I did not buy it because this ring has turned silver within like what two weeks and i haven't even got it wet it's literally from like i imagine when i'm out because i in the house i take them off i don't wear them in the house to wash up and stuff so i'm so glad that i only wasted 35 pounds i mean i've still got it on because it's so cute like it's this one here but it's just annoying like i i don't like silver jewelry for a reason so thank god wrong hand thank god i did not buy the bracelet because I would have been so angry but like what can you do when you're on the other side of the world you can't call them up and say you sold me a fake ring he did seem really nice though you never know guys you never know they see you coming don't they I think so yeah that's what we're up to I don't know we said we might get a coffee or something but I don't really fancy one to be honest I'd rather have like a squash maybe I'll have to get like a refresher I just I don't fancy a coffee I don't fancy an ice chai I don't fancy like I don't know just I'm not really into it today I don't really feel like I want one I think because tomorrow we're going to be out all day and we're going to be eating and drinking and eating and drinking all day out I just don't really feel like it today I will catch you guys at the outlet I'm not going to chew your ear off because I could just talk all the way to me as so yeah i will see you guys when we're out and about oh my seatbelt's not sorry how good is the lanage gorge i've not been to bnm for a hot set but i thought that i would just come for a little look around before dinner i just left nia um, we literally just got a picture super fast. This was the fit. It's a white fox unitard and um, my new balance. So I thought I'd just come and have a little look around and see if there's anything here. I don't know if there will be. Oh, they've got one cocktail boxes. Every time I come in here, I end up going to the pet aisle. So we're just going to respectfully walk past it today. And we've even got Barbie stuff in here, guys. Cute for you. if you've got a daughter. Like a primary school or something. One of my favourite hair masks and it's literally 3 99 in here. They are absolutely killing it with their home decor at the moment. It's just got like everyone's aesthetic, which I love. Oh my God, look, they've got autumn. Oh my God, shut up, that's Christmas. That's Christmas, guys, I repeat, that's Christmas. Oh my God, look at that little mushroom, that's so cute. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe we're already here, guys. I like that candle, that looks really expensive. There's just everything for everyone. My favourite candle from out of here, it's like the Escape or something. But I don't really have it in me to start sniffing them. This is just a, I don't know, I just felt inclined to come here. I don't know why. <laughs> I've picked this up guys because me and Mia can both put our phone charges in this. Whereas the one I've got at the minute, you can only charge one. So it's like this, £10. If you are in your like organisation era, this is truly where you need to come. They've got ever sorry guys, my phone's on load. They have literally got everything. Like look at all of these. They've got everything for everything in all the colours. These would be good for sunglasses. Look at that. How okay, they've done it there. There's literally everything, like little ones, and they're all and it says sale. Look, it, it carries on guys, don't think. There's more. <laughs> Hello guys, it is dinner time. I feel like we've just been passing ships all day. So it's so nice to actually talk. Um, I've just threw on a track, so it's one of them days where we have got on 100 different outfits, but it is what it is. 
this is just a tracksuit from PLT, it says Namaste on the back. Um, it's Monday night obviously so I'm going to start the week off with a nice home cooked meal. I My meals for the week are, I've put my retainers in so apologies if you think I sound a little bit um, funny, that's why. I'm not the best with them in. Hello, you've got food on your, your nose. So the, the meals that I got this week is a chilli which I'm not going to do because we've had chilli a lot recently so I'm going to keep it for like towards the end of the week. Pizza stuffed chicken which I think I'm going to do because it looks so good and then the third meal that I got was quesadillas but I realised I didn't get the wraps so that can't be the meal anyway. So that leaves no other option than the pizza stuffed chicken but it actually looks really good. I think the method is season the chicken, well cut the chicken breast in half, season it, put tomato puree and mozzarella, I've got some chorizo to put in ollies and do that and then I want to do some potato on the side um, and maybe some veg. Maybe some sweet corn or something, I don't know. But the pizza is, no, the chicken's the main event, so we'll, we'll base the dish around that. So, what do we have? Oh no, my avocado. He's gorgeous. Yeah. He's Here gorgeous. Go. Look at this. He's a gorgeous girl. <laughs> Okay guys, this is how they ended up. I mean, they've completely exploded. I've put chorizo in two of them for Ollie, and then I think that middle one's mine. I'm hoping that it's cooked all the way through. I have no idea how it's gonna taste, but this is how they look. So guys, right, dinner was nice. It definitely has the potential to be nicer. I think though that when the, like the chicken was cooking, all the mozzarella just like spewed out and it sort of just evaporated because like in the, on the top, it was like melted mozzarella, but in the middle, it was just like tomato. Like, I don't know where the mozzarella really went. So maybe like cook it and then put the mozzarella in like 15 minutes before it's cooked or like 10 minutes so that it's really like melted because I don't even know where it went. So it was good, but just needs work. So I've just been on FaceTime to me and we're just discussing outfits. So it was either going to be this outfit, which I think is so cool. And I really wanted to do like white, like lace up heels with a little white bag. Um, or my other outfit, which I absolutely love, is these green jeans. And it actually looks really cool with this corset that I got from White Box. It's like a ribbed knit and it's got like a slit here. So it looks really cool. And I thought like add some um, highlighter on the decolletage, is that what it's called? Um, and then I need to pick up some Perspex or like nude heels tomorrow, but I'm gonna do that in London. And then it looks really cool with the Louis bag. However, I, it, this isn't giving like night out. This is obviously very casual, which is why I love it so much. But I'd have to take the straps off and then it would be a case of holding it, which does look really cool, but realistically, do I want to be walking around London with a Louis Vuitton bag that I'm just holding? Not really. And because it's strapless, it looks better with a like shoulder bag. So I'm going to use Mia's um, Louis bag because it's on a shoulder strap. So it's just going to look better. So I'm just going to start laying everything out. I don't know what to wear tomorrow. I don't know whether to do... Um, Adenola leggings. I don't have a well, I do have one plain vest, but I can't find it. But I was thinking like a white vest. This is the red one, but if I did it backwards, it'd just be plain white. I don't know if to do that. And then I got this really cool that grey blazer from PLT, which I thought could be nice with the leggings, but I either do the blue Adenola leggings, the Adenola grey leggings, or these white fox green which would look really cool 
I'm in two minds whether to daily vlog tomorrow because I wanted to daily vlog one day this week and I penciled it in for Wednesday before we'd like had this trip organised. And then like on Wednesday, like me and me were like, let's just have like a chilled editing day. And then I was like, hang on, I'm meant to be daily vlogging. So I don't know whether to daily vlog tomorrow because it will be a really fun vlog. And then obviously I can, the vlog could be two hours if we wanted it to be. Like it could be a full get ready with us on the train. Like, get ready for me at home. We can go shopping in London, Bursch, go Stradivarius, Pull and Bear, Selfridges, Brandy Melville, go to Harry's with us for dinner, go to the event, you know? So it'll probably make a good daily vlog. So I, I'm in two minds, but then I always feel bad on the weekly vlog, but this, like, you guys will see it either way. But I always feel bad on the weekly vlog, like, oh, didn't get to show that. But you guys will still watch it, even if I daily vlog. So I'm toying. I think I will, because it's just gonna, like, and then on Wednesday, we can have a really chilled, like, self-care, productive day. So, I don't know. You guys either see me in the morning or see me on Wednesday. I'm not sure. I'm literally going to decide tomorrow. Haha, -ha, you might have thought you got away with me today. You didn't, guys, because I really fancy doing some journaling. So, I thought we could do it together because I personally am such an advocate of journaling but sometimes I get in a really bad rut with just not incorporating it into my routine. And I think it's because it's one of those things that like you consciously think, oh, it won't make any difference if I do it or not. But subconsciously and consciously, but especially subconsciously, I feel like it actually makes the biggest difference to your overall gratitude, mood, focus, appreciation like you're just overall life like it's such an integral part of this like journey of being your best self so I thought you know what Jode it's Monday you probably won't do it tomorrow because you're going to be so tired after a long day so just get it done so I thought I'm going to do it and then I'm going to treat myself to a cup of tea downstairs with the dogs on the sofa so that is what we are going to do and if you want to get into manifesting or if you already not even manifesting just journaling in general or like if you are someone who really loves it then this is definitely my necklace keeps twizzling around today and it's really annoying me then this segment of the vlog is definitely for you so what i did i last journaled on saturday and i only did a very quick journal literally probably took me five minutes i wrote some things i was grateful for some things that i'm ready for and then some things that i'm manifesting and if I want to go a little bit more into detail with this I will do like it honestly day to day like I don't like to make myself have a real I love a structure and I'm such a structure girl but I honestly just go with the flow when it comes to journaling whether I want to reflect on what went well today what I want to take into tomorrow something I learned something that I don't want to take into tomorrow something that I'm grateful for something that I really want to try and attract a short-term goal a long-term goal like I honestly just go with the flow with it but I always like to start it with the date and the date today is the 7th of August. I don't know why I do this, I just always do and honestly I don't put any pressure on it. I like to go on YouTube and find a really nice frequency. I've just been watching Mia's come shop with me. Manifestation frequency. Less of the ads, please, YouTube. These must make a killing off ad sense. It's got nine Absolutely. million views. I just love Okay, and that is literally me done so for what i'm grateful for today i wrote my family my friends and my boyfriend the, i also wrote i'm grateful for the freedom that i hold in my life and i'm also grateful for the opportunities i receive every single day i'm going to keep some of these bits to myself but um things that i'm ready for i always like to put like um sort of my goals like i'm ready for my goals to be completed and like i'm ready for the universe to grant me that next step so like whether it's a subscriber goal or a business goal or a personal goal like whatever it is like i'm like i'm sort of telling the universe like i am ready for it like give it me you know and um, short-term goals 
I put to hit 7,000 YouTube, YouTube subscribers, which I don't think we're that far off, actually. Um, let's have a look. We're 50 off. Oh, 49 off. So, I feel like... That's a short term goal that's going to come true very fast and be completed and ticked off. Another short term goal, my other short term goals, I can't wait to tell you guys about, but yeah, they're just like more BTS of my life right now. And then I like to, I love affirmations. If you follow Sisters and Souls, and maybe if you know around here, you won't know that Sisters and Souls is that's such a mouthful with the retainers in, is mine and my best friend Mia's podcast. And it's all very girl focused in terms of like becoming your dream girl and we cover topics from manifestation to being the best girlfriend the best friend the best daughter um right through to topics like financial freedom and setting up businesses and talking about like different sources of income and things that you can do like more of the more in the business side of your life so we really cover like it all and um, so we have four topics we talk about we have a soulful episode a week we have a sisterhood episode the next week a love episode the week after and then a ceo ceo episode the final week and we get re-rotate through them but we've just wrapped up series one so there's if you haven't listened there's 25 episodes out there for you guys to binge and we've talked about things like how to achieve goals how to get out of a rut how to have better relationships how to achieve financial freedom how to make better financial choices and um, how to enter your peaceful era like we talk about it all so maybe you guys will be interested so give it a listen and um, so yeah, I love affirmations and so does Mia. So that's a real big part. We end every episode with an affirmation and we also post an affirmation every single day on the Insta Instagram. So if you guys are also into it, then you should follow us. It's literally sisters and souls. So yeah, I always like to round off my journal entries with affirmations. So this week, this week, today, this evening, I wrote, I hold every trait necessary to be successful and I am evolving into my dream girl every day and that is our journal entry done for the evening so I'm gonna go downstairs now and make a cup of tea it is it's quite like it's half ten so I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea sit with the dogs till probably about 11 and then come up go to bed watch friends to fall to sleep too Um, Ollie's having a real um I don't want to say a nightmare because I don't want to put the energy on it, but he's just, he struggled with his van last week. Just out of the blue, like he had a um, problem with his van and it took him a good few days to fix it. And they managed to get it right on Friday, I think. And then today he's got out the gym and he's just had another problem. So I've just took him to get his tools out of the van because obviously he's like a tradesman and all of his tools are in the van. So I was like... You know, and you can feel someone's like spirit dropping. I was like, I know this isn't going to help you. I was like, but the universe is just testing you. Like, you've just got to, it's all right. So, yeah, that's very easy if you're wondering. He's trying to sort his life out, bless him. So, yeah, I'm going to chill out, wind down, and then I am going to daily vlog tomorrow. So, I hope you guys don't mind. But I just think it will be a really lovely day to go in depth. Like we can literally go in all the shops together. We can go to the event together. Like and just spend the full day like as a whole video. So that will already be up. So please don't feel like you've missed out. Um, it will literally be on the channel already. So I am going to wrap tonight up. And I will see you guys bright and early on Wednesday. We can have a download of the event. Because this is the first like influencer event we've ever gone to together and ever gone to which is wild so yeah excited but it's just like ap apprehensive I guess it would be the word so yeah we'll have a big day now about it and I can't wait to speak to you guys on Wednesday so weekly vlog I will see you in a minute good night guys i love you so much good morning guys happy Wednesday boy did we have a day yesterday it was just it was a day that's all I can honestly say like I'm so tired I came on my period yesterday I woke up with the worst cramps like you know you just feel so sluggish and just not feeling my best
for herself right now but we're just gonna have a very like self-care chilled kind of day i don't feel the best either like i feel like i've got a bit of a i don't know whether it's like <clears throat> a cold i don't know whether i'm just tired i don't know but i did think that we could try this today it's the lottie london hot glaze bronzing serum drops i'm just gonna put on some moisturizer first so i got back home last night about i think it was about 10 o'clock we left at, at like half seven so it was a long day in london it didn't go to plan but we just tried to make the most of it honestly like we thought we've come here like we finally got there we didn't get to london in the end till three o'clock which was like three and a half hours after we planned but we were like we are here like let's just make the most of it so that's what we kind of did i don't know whether to use like a brush with this let me just wipe this brush or whether to use my hands but lottie sent me this and i really wanted to try it to see whether it was like a drunk elephant dupe i don't know how much we're gonna need i think that's just kind of looks like the you know what amelia olivia uses on her chest oh what the hell guys that's actually <laughs> that's actually so good it's very subtle like i feel like i could probably add a bit more like here but this would be really nice on the chest <coughs> oh my god look can you see how it just adds like a very it's like an instant tan it smells like sun cream i would say what the hell that's so good we love that i feel like I could really start using that so it says that we can use this apply so it says apply on the foundation for an instant sun kissed look or over makeup to bronze certain areas of the face chest legs or any area you want i don't know how it would work on top of makeup i mean i don't know whether i'd ever try that i don't think i've probably got the skills for that but as i like daily tan so it'll be interesting to see how it wears through the day so I will keep you guys updated. Obviously, I won't recommend it right here, right now. But first impressions, we like that. I'm just going to brush my brows off. Not with a product, just with a spoolie. Um, and then, honestly, the plans today <clears throat> are to really just chill out. Like, I feel so, like, low. Also, I'm going to try and put my number twos in because I need to get them in today, realistically. I didn't want to put them in before London, but. God, they be tight. Okay, they're tight, but I feel like I could do it. I feel like I'll put an alarm on my phone for like two hours and try it. Like, I've already ate, I've had some toast. I'm only going to be drinking water now, so I feel like I can keep them in. So honestly, my hair feels disgusting. Like London, if you want to know like the full story, I won't go into it. But I we forgot to say last night, this is hilarious. So I haven't even got my hairbrush because it's in my suitcase in his car. Go and get a comb. Look at the state of my hair. Like I curled this yesterday and it literally just completely dropped. Um so right, if you want to know like the full story of what happened yesterday, go and watch the daily vlog um, and we explain it at the end in the car. But I forgot to say and it really made me laugh. So me was like, as long as we get to the NCP before um I think it's like half eight, she was like, There's an early price, like an early bird price. She was like, So it's only seven pounds seven I think it's like seven ninety five for the day. So she was like let's get there before then i was like yep yeah, totally so we got there and it was like early bird and we were like brilliant so when we were paying like we were like oh at least we get the early bird so i inserted the ticket and it come up 30 pound and i was like hang on a sec i was like we got the early bird and i was thinking that i'll just press the button and be like hey look your machine's not not working so i inserted the ticket no i cancelled the ticket i got it out and guess what time we got to the um the car park 8 31 so we were a minute late so it tripled well is that, yeah i was like it basically quadrupled i was like it just felt like the whole day like 
we were just being kicked like it was so like I, I don't know what it was it was just a day like but I said like in the to be honest like when you actually look at it we'll probably remember it more than if it went to plan you know and um, but it was just a really funny a funny day like a funny funny day so yeah today I think the plan is very much going to be um, I've got a video to edit, so I'm probably just going to edit that a little bit. I'd like to go for a little mooch around like TK Maxx later. My hair. Me and Archie are going to go and take the dogs for a walk this afternoon. Um, but honestly, like you know, when it's like I'd feel like my period was slowly coming yesterday, and today, like I've woke up and that like first day or so of the period, it's never good, is it? So I'm just sort of going to give myself a bit of grace because it is not a good time. <laughs> But my hair feels disgusting. So after being rained on and having so much hair spraying, and I didn't want to brush my curls out, so I literally just kept my hair like loosely falling out. Um, so I hadn't brushed it literally all day. It was just it feels horrible. So I think I might do an early like hair mask maybe tomorrow. That's probably the worst ponytail I have ever done, but we will just roll with that. Let's add some little hoops in so we feel kind of cute. Oh, also, we got a... I forgot I had this in my bag. I think I'll treat myself to this later. Have it with my dinner or something. Might put it in the fridge. Where are my little hoopies? Oh, also, I've got a thing to unbox downstairs. Let me just get ready. I don't know. I think it's some sort of tripod, but the box it has came in is huge so i will just throw some clothes on and then i'll meet you guys downstairs and we can unbox it because i'm so intrigued like archie said this morning someone delivered it and um, and it's like this huge box in this huge lorry but he's like it weighs absolutely nothing so i was like right so let me just sort myself out and then i'll meet you down there okay oh i've changed my phone case i think who sent us this i think it was custom gifts uk I love the floral, but I feel like it's just not. Like now I'm like a holiday, I just wanted something basic. So let me go and get this big fat box. Look how big it is. Look at this big fat box. What on earth is in here? Look, it's so light. Look at that. But it's so big. So let's open it up. I think it is a tripod with the camera. So let's open it up and see. real good okay this is it it's the job oh, joby gorilla pod mobile vlogging si um, kit so it comes with a this is really good you know if you want to get into like youtube or vlogging or just social media and you don't want to like invest in maybe like a camera if you want to or some people do just love filming on their phones okay this is what we've got gosh it's giving professional vlogger i'll say that okay so i'll show you this is what we've got We've got this big fat tripod which will screw into you guys this is so much better than the one i've got the one i've got is so flimsy like it just falls over it can't almost like withhold the like weight of the camera i don't know but this one's like probably triple the size so it's a lot better so we've got that then we have got a new microphone i don't exactly know how this works I think do we I think this might plug into like your phone or camera so we've got a big microphone this is some sort of light which looks so good 
I think this does have to be plugged in. We've got this, which you can put your phone in. Long ways. Lots of little attachments. What's this? I feel like I need to read the instructions a bit more. Oh, and we've got a single one. That's fun. Oh, different attachments. Gosh, there's so much, guys. I was that to put the... Right, so that's like the GoPro. Because we have a GoPro now, don't we? What the hell? It's like a proper... This is cool. Right, I'm going to get to grips with it. Um, I'm going to start editing my vid. And then it's got like all these different attachments. I'll leave a link below if you guys are interested. But it is the Gorillapod mobile vlogging kit. So yeah, I'm going to edit my video. I'm going to keep sipping on my water. I feel like I'm just going to ignore the pain of my teeth. This is just a white box, oversized tin. I've literally just put it on with some big um, lounge pants just for the comfy vibes so yeah i'll pick you guys up in a little bit when we take the dogs for a walk and maybe we'll pop to like tk max or bnm or just somewhere for a little scroll stroll around but yeah right now i'm going to try and be a productive girl and figure the how the hell this all works <laughs> it's time to make dinner it is six o'clock i'm absolutely starving i'm gonna do chili because i'll just go in boxing tonight and our two meals left this week are either chili or quesadillas and i don't feel like quesadillas are that filling he was like i'd rather i'd rather have like he would rather have something filling after boxing so i was like right we'll do quesadillas tomorrow and i haven't still haven't bought the wraps anyway so perfect for me so i feel like i always show you guys the chili i don't know if i feel like a broken record but it is honestly one of my favorite meals right now so what we're going to put in it i've got some cloves of garlic i've got black beans in water and then i've actually got red kidney beans in chili sauce which i personally think is a really good hack to make your chili taste a lot nicer um like easier without having to you know sometimes a chili i feel like unless you had a lot of spice and everything it can taste a little bit um unflavoured so that is a good hack i've got some basmati rice i did the shop at sainsbury's this week i don't know whether i said because i did it on sunday ahead of the vlog i've got some mushrooms i've also got some spinach which i'm gonna add just to get some good greens in and especially women it's meant to be really good for progesterone mm -hmm. i think it is um barbara O'Neill said you should be in a form of broccoli cabbage like kale spinach something like that every day so i've also got some 20 percent beef mints still kind of going with the high fat not really being super strict like i was when i was doing that full keto vibe but i am still on higher fat then i've got some avocado again really good if you want to get some fat in and this is good obviously for guacamole i feel like i'm absolutely rambling i'm also going to put carrots and peppers in but they're in the back fridge because this fridge was so full on sunday so i'm going to cut it all up obviously onion and then yeah i'm going to eat it now ollie's going to have it after boxing i was going to wait but i'm just so hungry like i physically can't because i haven't really eaten and all i've had is a pack of discos prawn cocktail by the way let's talk about them for a second how good are discos haven't brought them for haven't had them for years i've never brought them i don't think but i saw them in sainsbury's and i was like oh and the prawn cocktail ones <sighs> incredible and then i had a piece of toast and an apple so i'm kind of hungry so let's start cooking and then i'll show you guys how it turns out and then i thought tonight because i'll be a bit boxing i thought we could have a bit of a self-care evening maybe oil our hair do some like face skincare maybe a little journal just you know pick up the self-care vibes right here Peppers and the carrots. Keep it together like I did before. Think that I said this few times. Hey, with hey, did you know that one? Has it ever felt right? Swear that this has happened every moment. Can I just be honest? I was only wondering if maybe we could take it to a different conversation. Have we 
Friday it actually feels better today than it did like on Monday I think it like I don't know I feel like my hair like I put dry shampoo in it on Monday and I feel like it takes a like day and then it actually goes like really nice again I don't know it has gone quite red again though I did use glaze a few months ago and it took that like auburny it's not super auburn unless like it's in the sun but you know like I don't know, it's got a lot of colours running through it, like, it's all natural, but you see how it's just very different. So I don't know if to put a glaze on it this week. Um, I don't know, I'm not super bothered, but I did like how it just made it one colour, like, it made it look really sleek. So I might do that. But onto hair oiling, what you're going to need is a rosemary oil and a pumpkin seed oil. Kiss. Um, you could, there's lots of oils you can use out there, but these are personally two that... I have used and enjoy so I'm just going to mix them in a little lid essentially if you don't know the pumpkin seed acts as the carrier oil and the rosemary oil because it's an essential oil if you go on Amazon or TikTok shop then you will see some rosemary oils are essential and some are already mixed essentially the essential ones are like pure and it can be like quite um I think some people, I mean, I've used it on its own, I'll be honest, and nothing's ever happened to my hair, but some people find that it, like, makes your hair fall out unless it's mixed. Um, I think it can just be a bit harsh, and especially, I think, if you haven't oiled before or if your scalp's especially sensitive, I would just recommend mixing it with something else. Um, but basically, the hair oiling procedure... I've just mixed them about that much basically hair oiling just helps your hair grow i try to do this at least once a week and i also use a scalp brush this is one from rehab hair to really get it into my scalp so you, what you're going to want to do is literally just it's so hard to pour so i like just doing it straight from the bottle but we'll mix it and be good um, we just want to basically pour it through our scalp. Another one that I really like is the Grow Gorgeous Intense Hair Oil. I think I used all mine though. Um, but I would really recommend it and that you can put directly on your hair. So you just want to get that through. I like to just spread it out and then... And then what you want to do is take your scalp brush and give it a good massage and honestly do this for as long as your arms allow like five minutes ten minutes if you do this like every day i mean i don't do it every day but if you do it every day like i've seen some girls on tiktok have crazy and um, like improvement in their hair health but basically encourages your hair to grow and like this action stimulates your hair follicles so it produces more and obviously the result is longer healthier hair so i've started watching manifest if you guys ever watched it i just i wanted something to watch like on my own so i was scrolling on netflix earlier and i've seen that manifest show like quite a bit on my tiktok like it's come up a fair few times i've always been intrigued so I've, i mean i've only watched i think i'm on the second episode i think i might need i've watched like an episode in a bit but guys it's really good i definitely recommend Basically, I mean, I can't really spoil it because I haven't. I don't even know how many seasons there are, but I can't really spoil it because I don't know enough myself. But essentially, it is like they're on a flight, and the story goes like there's turbulence, and like for the people on the flight, it's saying it feels like it's 20 seconds, 
and then the plane stabilizes like all the electricity comes back on like the, you, you saw the electricity turn off like it all comes back on and then they like go they like the pilot comes on and says oh guys sorry you know bit of turbulence we are gonna land like you know they were nearly home so they he like goes over to the control room and he's like hello like can i land and they say like who is this and the pilot's like this is flight blah 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 and they're like can you repeat that what's your name and he says like my name's blah i've got i think 191 souls on board can i land and they directed him somewhere else and then basically they get off the plane and like there's all police sirens and they say like you need to land on the tarmac like d you need to get your passengers off onto the tarmac like you can't go in the airport and everyone's like there's something not right here um, and all the so all the passengers are saying like what what's going on and the detective says like the problem is folks you took off in this plane in 2010 and it's now 2015 and they're like what and they all like obviously they haven't aged they don't feel like they feel like they just were on a three hour flight i don't know where to um, they landed in New York, so I don't know where they landed to, but it was like a three of like, and to them it just seemed normal. But one of the boys is like terminally, terminally ill, and I think he's like seven, and he's a twin. So his twin sister is now, let's say, 12, and he's still seven because it's five years, and like they thought he was gonna die, so it's sort of, it's just crazy, and obviously they've had this really weird experience that almost no one else can relate to understand like and they're all having these weird like intuition moments so what the one of the main girls it sort of like loosely covers other people but it's this like specific family and it's a son and father and then it's like his sister so like the auntie and she's been getting these weird feelings that have been like telling her to do things like she was on a bus and she said could you please slow down she didn't know why she just had this urge to tell the driver to slow down and he was like would i tell you how to do my job and she was like slow down and he slams his brakes on and this little kid runs in front of the bus and he's like how did you know that and she's like I don't know and then she kept hearing this voice saying set them free set them free and she thought it was these dogs and her brother turned up as well and he, she was like hey did you know I was here and he was like I don't know I just knew you'd be here and there was these dogs and they thought that they were meant to set the dogs free but then they set them free and they ended up going back again to say like we're really sorry about vandalizing they got the dogs back I think but she, they were like I'm really sorry and there's actually turned out to be two girls in like a garage locked in. So it's like she's got this weird intuition and her brother keeps knowing where she is. And then where I've just got up to, for some reason, like all the passengers turned up to the airport one evening and they were all stood there and the plane just blows up. So now it's like, how did they know the plane was gonna blow up? Like everyone like is obviously really suspicious of them. But I don't know where it's going to go, but I think it's really good. I don't know how many seasons there are. It would be a really good film. But, I mean, I just haven't watched really anything new on my own for a while. So I'm kind of enjoying it. So I think I might... My hair's so nutty. I think I might watch that in bed. So that is basically the air, ho air, oiling, air oiling process. I mean, you can, like, massage this in as much as you like. Obviously, it does kind of knock your hair up so i try to do it and comb it at the same time but as i think as long as you're getting up all the way around your head and making sure the oil is going in then you're all good it does make your hair a little bit greasy but it doesn't make it super greasy it does dry down and then honestly it just makes a really nice sleek pony or bun so so i think i'm going to jump into bed and watch manifest i'll let you guys know how i find it as i like watch more but right now i'm enjoying it so i would tell you guys to go and watch it for sure i feel like you'll enjoy it and let me know if there's any other recommendations me and tommy to watch wolf i think it is on bbc iplayer but i have not watched but it does sound 
god and i was torn between that but i just, i remembered i'd seen manifest on tiktok and i remembered i wanted to watch it so i thought i would give it a go so yeah i will speak to you guys in the morning thursday i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning so we can work out i don't know whether to go to the gym or do a workout class but one or the other and i will link these hair oils below if you guys are interested but these are the ones that i personally like so i've had them since january i think and there's a lot left they last a long time because obviously it's like tiny droplets that you use okay good night Good morning guys, it is Thursday, it's 9am, 9, 9 I'm just picking Amber up to take her to an appointment um, and I'm going to take her there, oh I've got brilliant, um, I'm going to take her there and then, where are you going? Kiss. Love you, bye. I'm going to take her to an appointment then I'm going to then I'm going to finish editing my video and then me and Ollie have got to go and pick something up for his car to hopefully fix it um, at 11 and then I'm going to see my nan this afternoon so we've got to go to Stafford to get the part so yeah I just thought I'd say good morning morning yeah you can bring them round um, so I'll see you guys in a bit hello guys Ollie's making us oh, get down from there Guys, look at her. Say hello, everybody. Look how big I am. We're having a cup of tea, even though it's so hot today. Like, ridiculous. This is my outfit. These are Zara, and this is another store, okay? another version. She's so big. You're so big. She lost three teeth. Ollie noticed. What's that? Three teeth. Yeah, she's three teeth. Oh, no, it's we might take a good cup at if we've got the right equipment, isn't it? What? We might take a good cup if we've got the right equipment. Right if his brain's switched on. If his brain's not switched on, it's not good. Also, Ollie's household, what? Ollie's household is a glass mug household. Ollie's mum will only drink out of one, whereas my house is a ceramic. What would you do? I bet I'm so dirty. Yeah, that's why I don't think it's close. What do you think? Do you think you'll be silly to class models? No, I like it. Yeah. What do you want? Darcy loves tea as well. <laughs> Darcy loves it, doesn't she? We made her a lot of tea on the stage. <laughs> I made one yesterday though. Did you love it? Anyway, I wanted to show you my tan because I don't think I really gave my tan the credit that it deserved. I've just finished editing. Darcy. Darcy loves ice. Um, I don't think I gave my tan the credit it actually deserved. I'm trying to get in the sunlight. Look at my legs. They are so, they're like such a nice colour and my hands, like if we go in the sun. Look at the colour of me. I look like you, does to be honest. We're giving orange. <laughs> what? Sit. Sit. Darcy, sit. Darcy, paw. Give me your paw. Good girl. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, honestly, guys, really good. And what I used was... What I used was... A bit dark. I use filter dark and I always use medium just because I always buy medium but Mia brought me dark and I used it with naked glow. I think I showed you but do you think my tan looks good? Even my mum said my tan looks good this week which says a lot. She went, I wouldn't even know if you were wearing tan. Yeah but I didn't get this tan done the other day. It's the legs with me and Dart are the same colour. Look, look at her waiting for her tea. She genuinely thinks she's the queen. She also loves ice. So my London video is all edited. I hope you guys enjoyed it if you watched it. It was just obviously, like I thought it would be a really aesthetic, like come to Harry's with us, come to get acai bowls, and like come and, you know, like come to a PLT event. It didn't really end up like that, but it, I think it's still a funny vlog. 
and I just thought you guys might as well see it. It's still like a good 50 minutes, so watch I go guys. Nice. She's got iced tea. What a princess. What a princess. As you can. I'll just have one of those because they're really quite sickly. Right. Also, tea foot date. <coughs> I genuinely think they hurt yesterday and I kept them for like six hours and I got over the worst of it. So I think if you're gonna have retainers, that first day either sleep, like put them in and go to sleep or just don't, try not to eat, like try not to take them in now. So I put them in yesterday and I said like they really hurt, but no, like they feel fine. And last time I was crying about them for days. Tell me you don't know how to enjoy summer. What? <laughs> Why are we outside? With a hot, with a hot drink and biscuits when we could be outside with an ice lamp. I'd ripped summer off to be honest, and now it's back. I'm a bit like, right, here we go. How long do you hold your dump for? How long is it back for? It's raining on Saturday. <laughs> I don't even think tomorrow will be nice. Do you left it all? <laughs> Was that super nice? No. Remember, you're not allowed. Mm. I think Darcy's really made us realise that we want our own dog. Especially Ollie. I already knew, and I think Ollie knew, but I think it's just brought him more to his awareness. What do you think? Oh, my God. Want a big one now? Yeah, Ollie wants like a. If you, let me know, guys, if you've got a Vizsla. Mm. He loves Vizsla and. Cutting them off. I only want one, but Jesus. Um, yeah, Ollie really wants a Vizsla. And I actually really like them. I looked. I found one on TikTok and they seem really intelligent and they actually remind me of the dog version of Ollie. I'm going to show you them if you don't know what it is, so you don't have to Google it. So you don't have to click off the video if you're watching it on your phone. Which a lot of you do because I looked. This is them. You can get a wired haired one too. What's that? Oh my god, Ollie, there's fluffy ones. This is it. The other ones are cuter, I think. I think that would mould. That's a wired one. Look. The other one's more. That's how it. I don't know. This is them. They're a lot more. Hey, cute. Let me know if you've got one, guys, and what they're like, or if you've had any interaction. It does say, though, they're better suited to households with adults and older children. Why? I don't know, but I guess that says probably a lot. Just as it recommended children supervised. Children should be supervised with a dog anyway, even if it was like a two hours, shouldn't they, really? Kimmy guys, I have literally just got home. It is five to five. I'm just gonna start dinner, but I thought that before I did, we could open this Beauty Works parcel because I am so excited. Look how big it is. I feel so lucky. I've never worked with Beauty Works before, but I'm working with them on TikTok and I'm just really excited. I feel really blessed because I literally love Beauty Works. Like you guys will know, I. But my favourite colour that is Beauty Works. My favourite mermaid flavour is Beauty Works. So they're a brand that I really love. So I feel really excited. So I thought we could unbox this fat parcel together and see what we got. Oh, oh Slightly harder to get into than imagined. Okay, so this is their After Sun collection. This is their Colour Lockdown Shampoo and Conditioner. And then it's their 
protective UV spray. So it's their anti-sun, anti-colour fade trio. So it says, these are the essential hair care products for colour treated hair on holiday. So this says that this is your essential hair care products helping to restore, nourish and protect the hair from UV rays, heat and environmental factors. You can be worry free on holiday knowing your hair care routine is perfect for hot conditions. That's fun. And then guys, look. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. I feel so lucky. Look, this is the Beauty Works Blow Dry and Style. It's their hair dryer and strengthener kit, limited edition. Look, hey fun. Right, let's open it. Hello. Hello. Oh, of course it was James. Talking to yourself again. Did you just go out? Where are you going to put all this shit? Can I squirt? Yeah, because the front door was open. James went up to me. He went to get his car cleaned up. I went out to him. He followed me out. I didn't know he had any of it. Just moved location so we can unbox it. So we can unbox it properly. Okay, so this is the Blow Dry and Style Hair Dry and Straightener Kit. So in it we get the straighteners. How nice these look. I love Beauty Works, they're always so sleek. I've only ever used really JHD, so I'm excited to see like how it lives up. And then we've got, I'll just show you now, I'll show you originally. This is my sticky habit comes. Yeah, we only ever, we're like real GHD girls, me and my mum, so I'm intrigued to see what like I think of Beauty Works. We've got two of the clips. These are good for curling your hair and pinning them up. Then we've got the hair dryer. Look at that. He's a lucky boy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and then we've got two different attachments. I don't know how they work, but one's bigger than the other. I imagine for longer hair i don't know but i will use this when i wash my hair i think i might wash it either tomorrow or saturday so we will definitely use this but i'm going to start cooking dinner so i'll show you and it's really hot like it was 30 degrees in the car so i'm literally sweating 26 degrees still it's really hot we're just not used to this like it's so hot so thank you beauty works i'm so excited to be working with you and i can't wait to try these new products you guys know i'm not with my hair it's like my Thing, so I'm so excited to try it and we will try it this weekend. Which is my suspicious little story. Very important. Oh, very like and around and I'm thinking we all got. I have a really comfortable be by myself and anyone in my life would be that I would be out with friends and that was just another question how great we were going to do so just be I am it's still gonna hurt, it's still gonna be sad. Probably just has so much pressure on yourself. That always happens with parents now, because that happens in football. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning guys, happy Friday. Just wanted to come on and say good morning. I am going to the gym. I'm just gonna force myself into it. Like I don't feel like I really wanna go, but I just thought, what's the excuse? Just go and as soon as I'm there and I'll feel fine. This set is from White Fox, it's so cute. It's like shorts look, it's like a car kick on that. And then this is the back of the sports bra and I've just brought a little pullover day in, but it's really warm today again. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. I think I might just do like a glute session. I haven't got my headphones, which is annoying, but whatever. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do a glute session. I've just done my like skincare, scraped my hair back for the day. And I've moisturized, I've had a shower this morning. So I feel really like clean, ready to smash the day. And then I think this afternoon I'm gonna head to Starbucks or somewhere and start editing. I've got a bit of work to do and I feel like I just don't really wanna sit in the house. I thought I might take myself out for a coffee. So that's probably the POA. I'm just feeling because I woke up with these, I'm probably not be able to see because of this silly filter on the 
camera but i woke up these like dry patches like here on both sides of my nose which is so bizarre so i put on some walida like specifically there and i've really like rubbed it through but yeah i don't really know what it is but it's such a nice day like look at that this is the set it's so cute um so yeah i'll see you guys at the gym i'll show you what i do i can't remember how hot it is to be honest I'll show you what I get up to and then I will see you guys later when we go to Starbucks. Hello, good afternoon. We are ready. I've just packed a I've just packed a bag. I've just got my MacBook, my hard drive, lip balm, all of that. Fill my bottle up. I threw on a comfy fit. I'm just gonna take a hoodie as well because it's hot today, but there's also a bit of a wind, so I've just got a Stradivarius crop top on, which they don't sell anymore, guys, because I looked and I couldn't find it. And then when I went in um on Tuesday, they have like longer ones, but they don't feel as good. But it's the same concept. I saw Emily Bull wearing well, I think it was that and it still looked good but they don't sell this one anymore and then I've just got Adenola leggings on and some Yeezy side dupes and very minimal jewellery no makeup day we love so yeah I'll see you guys at Starbucks it's half one so I'm thinking I can just have a couple hours make my way through the vlog before the weekend basically just get ahead of myself I'm just going to take my tripod my battery chargers And I will see you guys there. I'm going to decide what coffee I want. I haven't had one yet, so I can get a good one. Okay. So I'm going to get a caramel mac. And then I'm going to start opening the vlog. It's okay, no worries. Jodie, can I please get a large caramel iced mac? Yeah. Could I get it blonde roast, please? That's all, thank you. The Starbucks is just so cool still, like, I love it here. It just feels so like untouched. And like, I don't know, so it's like, hello. I just realised I'm going to have to take my SD card out, so before I do, here's the coffee. She is looking pretty gorgeous, to be honest. They make a really good one. Yeah, so here's the Holy Pinko. But I'm going to get on with editing. I also realised I forgot my headphones. Luckily, it's quite quiet in here. And I'm sat by so everyone's like, can just listen. But yeah, this is where I'm going to be for the next couple of hours. It is 2 o'clock. So let's go on. I'll probably be here till about 4 and then I'll wrap things up and continue with it tomorrow. Hard drive. Best thing I ever bought, to be honest. This is how I get the long gas box because my MacBook does not have the capability to allow for long box. And this is what you want to order if you want it it's so good guys oh guys i've just stretched to ow i've just really stretched to get my ow you know when you just overstretch that is ow ow <laughs> oh god that's awful ouch ouch <laughs> Okay, is that gonna go? Is that gonna go? <laughs> that does not feel nice. I have actually completely edited the so far of this vlog. I have not been this prepared when it comes to vlog, like the weekly vlog. I don't think ever, but it's literally all done up until now, what you've what else is done. So I thought we could just have a chat because I left Starbucks at about four o'clock. I went to see my grandma. I did actually film a clip in the car, but I felt quite emotional and I don't think that I really made much sense. So I thought we could have the conversation again while I feel like my thoughts make a little bit more sense and I can probably say what I want to say in more of a concise way. Like I feel like I can 
get translate what I'm trying to say a little bit more translate my thoughts so what I wanted to say was I got some really good news while I was in Starbucks like news not like major news but just a real good piece of news which just showed progress and I'm a big believer in like in signs like you guys know but not just that I think this week I have just really struggled with the anniversary of my dad's passing death coming up which is tomorrow and this is going to be the like his third anniversary like this is the third anniversary of it happening so I lost my dad in August 2020 and that whole process like that whole event was very fast and very unexpected and very quick and changing and very like zero to 100 and obviously when you lose a parent no matter how prepared you can be how you know no matter what it's really rough I don't think I realise how traumatised that made me until like the week surrounding especially this event like I find his birthday really difficult I find Father's Day difficult I find Christmas difficult my birthday difficult like I always find things difficult but I find this time like August like the end of July the start of August really not triggering like that probably isn't the right word but I think if you've lost someone and if you've lost a parent if you've lost anyone you will really be able to relate to the point where to the fact that day to day you just you miss them it hurts it's shit like grief is so bad but day to day it's a lot easier to suppress and I find day to day I more just wish my dad was here to chat to and I don't focus so much on the fact that he's gone like I just wish he was here do you know what I mean like I always focus on that oh, I wish my dad was here I don't really think about the fact that he went that he's gone and the way he went and I feel like this week I could not ignore it and I what have watched Misha Grimes for absolutely years like found her on YouTube probably one of the first girls that I started following years ago and her dad passed away I think two years ago I think it was just his two year anniversary mark and she made a TikTok and she was talking about it and she was saying like it's not the day that's really rough and it's not the day the days that you dread and build up in your head are never actually the worst days it's the days leading up and it can be the days after but I find personally it's the days building up that I put so much I don't even know like dread on the day that I really struggle with the days going leading up and I think I've really struggled this week like I haven't really been sleeping it hasn't helped that I've been on my period let's be real but I just feel like I haven't slept right like I can't go to sleep I felt so tired and just really like low on energy anyway and like really emotional I feel like I could cry at the click of a button like if someone talks about him I could literally burst into tears and I think I never know how to describe the way that it made me feel until you think about the word traumatised and that is genuinely the only way that you can describe in my experience the way losing my dad and the way that I lost my dad has made me feel and on the days where you don't you're not forced to think about it and you're not forced to think about him and what happened it's quite easy to suppress it and just like I said focus on I really miss him I really wish he was here to see this I really wish he was here for me to ask him this I really wish he was here to give me advice but on these days like I don't even like that is not even like in my mind like it's not that I want to be able to talk to him it's that I feel so traumatized by what happened and I'm constantly flicking back like what was I doing three years ago today what was I doing three three years ago to the hour like yesterday I was really struggling thinking that because my dad ended up going into a hospice when the hospital basically decided like you can't have the operation I've never really told the full story so and maybe one day well and I would really like to do like a not a story time that isn't the right way to describe it but more of a how like an in-depth like 
three years on, four years on, whenever I decide to film the video of losing my dad, like this is how I felt then, this is how I felt since and this is how I feel now. But he was in the hospital for not long, a couple of weeks, and then when they decide like there's nothing we can do for you, you need like the end of life care and treatment sort of thing he moved into a hospice and he wasn't in there for very long either i'd say maybe a week and a half two weeks maximum and we really wanted him to see the dog because him and sash like although sasha's like mine and my brother's dog it was my dad like she was my dad's dog like them two were like you know how every dog has like a favorite person and like a master like i feel like i've stepped into that now since we lost him and like we've always been so close anyway but i've stepped into that now but it was always him and we took her to see him in the hospice two days before because we thought that it might cheer him up and we just wanted them to see each other obviously because he hadn't been home for about a month I think and we th we thought he'd come home so they never really said goodbye and yesterday all I could think about it was like was taking her there and yeah i don't really know what the point of this story is but i just really wanted to talk to you guys and just sort of i said that i really wanted to be like in touch with my emotions and thoughts and invest my time and patience understanding whatever you want to call it into taking care of myself this month and i've just been trying to like really reflect but i've just realized like that you don't realise how much things traumatise you until you look back and if you've lost someone or like whatever you've been through but especially like if you've lost a parent and you can like we can relate to each other on this like nothing that you nothing that I can ever say will help you because I know nothing anyone has ever said to me has helped me especially in this week like day to day it's I now, three years on, find it quite, I wouldn't say easy, but I've learned how to deal with it and learn how to like grow through it and learn how to get on with life. But I feel like this period of time, there's n I, you just have to feel it and just, yeah, you just have to feel it and I guess feel the emotion and it's so shit. Like, grief is so shit like losing a parent is so shit losing someone that you thought you would lose you know we all think one day oh, we're gonna lose our parents but the thought of losing them so young is so shit like knowing and it's not even that that like i'm not even thinking about that right now like i can sit here and be like he won't be at my wedding he won't meet my children you know he won't be able to cook me a sunday dinner i won't be able to bring him to my first house he won't be able to you know all of that that doesn't even make me feel that emotional today that would make me feel emotional on a normal day but i feel like at this period of time i'm just constantly like flashing back and it's really quite hard <laughs> so yeah i don't really know how i'm going to feel tomorrow and whether i'm going to want to continue this vlog from now like i just wanted to sort of be honest with you guys on how i'm finding it recently and hopefully if one of you i hope to god none of you are in this position but if somehow through the power of the internet we found each other and you watched this video you clicked on it and you found this chat i just wanted to say that i'm sending you so much love and that's genuinely all that i know is worth sending because nothing that anyone can send me or give me or tell me say to me will make me feel any better other than them saying i just love you like just know that so i just wanted to say that to you guys and yeah i think me and ollie are gonna go out for dinner tonight just grab something casual and then tomorrow I'm going to go and watch my brother play football with my granddad because he's just joined a new team and we haven't watched him yet. So we're going to go and watch him and then we're just going to have dinner together as a family and just, yeah, I find it just quite difficult. And I said to Ollie, like the only way that I can describe this feeling is trauma and traumatised 
like there's no, there's no other definition and I've never really understood I don't think you ever understand something until you feel it like you know you never understand grief you never understand heartbreak until you have experienced it firsthand you can empathize with people and be there for people but I don't think you can truly understand something until you firsthand experience it and yeah I never really understood trauma but I feel like three years on I'm slowly learning more about that and I don't really know how to deal with that to be honest I feel like a lot of parts of it are completely blacked out of my brain and it's not until something sparks the memory or someone sparks the memory maybe by saying something I actually remember that that happened and not the death like I don't black that out but little points that I found really hard like seeing him in the hospital or things like that you know I don't actually even don't think I recall in my brain so yeah I just wanted honestly to just sit down and have an honest chat to you and in the car earlier I wasn't really making much sense like I was just rambling I don't really know where I was going with it and yeah I just wanted to sit and honestly just have a chat with you and just be honest and share the reality of grief basically because I feel like it is a really taboo topic and it's because people deal with it very differently people have dealt with it very differently in my family people you know even like me and my brother we've been through the exact same thing we're both like son and daughter of a man who died very unexpectedly very quickly the way we have dealt with it is so differently and the way that we deal with it today is so differently and the way we will deal with it tomorrow is so differently so I feel like that's why it's taboo because people just there's no one universal way guide like rule everyone's so individual so yeah I just wanted to honestly just be honest give you guys love if you need that right now and I hope that you know someone out there maybe needed to hear this and just know that you're not alone and even though everyone deals with things so differently you are not on your own for the way you feel even though it feels really isolating because you all deal with it so differently and you all obviously have different relationships so yeah I've been talking to you guys for a long time but I just felt like I needed to get that out there off my chest so if you don't see me after today then that's probably why because I'm just finding tomorrow quite difficult which I don't think I'm going to pick the camera up to be up tomorrow to be completely honest I do think this is me for the rest of the week and i will pick you guys probably back up on monday but i love you guys so much and i'm always so grateful and i'm so grateful for the strength that i have and i saw that actor angus i don't know what his last name was and i don't know what the the story is revolving that but i heard my, misha grimes touch on it and i've seen it on my like social media and I've seen it everywhere and he I think he lost his dad and a lot of people were saying that it his death led like was caused by the loss of his dad like he couldn't deal with it and it's just it's wild like I feel so grateful for my strength to be here and yeah I love you guys so if you don't see me, then I will see you next week with some new videos. We're going to go shopping next week. We've got a nice haul coming and, of course, a weekly vlog. And we're going to get back to the gym and just being our best selves. So I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.